Peters here on a brisk Sunday morning, and we are in a cow pasture. The ladies are over there on the hill, and Hambone is trying to, to summon them, and all they are doing is looking very confused. <laughs> They're, they are looking, but I think they are just looking with disgust. <laughs> so today, 12 short miles to an alpaca farm where we will be spending the evening. It's a hostel. But before that, we will hit the three-quarter mark of our hike and a Mexican restaurant and a gas station. Cannot wait. What a day. <laughs> oh, they just said hi. Hi, ladies. They're like, bye, dude. I would love to, like, just you are so fuzzy. Look at the little tail. Hi, baby. Just eat the grass. All right, we're leaving now. I have about 3.8 miles left to the Long Neck Lair Alpaca Farm where I will be staying. <laughs> Cannot wait to see these alpacas. Uh, and looking forward to a hostel stay with some southbound hikers uh, are gonna be there that we met um, at Woods Hole Hostel. I ran into them on the trail yesterday. They are headed there this evening as well. And there was a couple other hikers we ran into early this morning. Um, but I don't think they're headed there either and get a restful night and then hiking into Marion tomorrow and then that's the end of the hostel stretch back to the woods living <laughs> but you know what I'm really happy that I got to experience so many of the hostels on the trail because each one has its own personality own uh I guess culture vibe I guess is the word and honestly, experiencing the hostels has been one of my favorite parts of this adventure. Um, hostel owners, I love their stories, how they came to own a hostel. Uh, really cool, really cool part, an important part of the trail. Providing uh, services and taking care of the likes of us. <laughs> anyway, not much is going out in the woods, going on in the woods other than it's freaking gorgeous out here. Look at this weather. It's a little chilly. Like my hands are a little chilly right now. It got into the 30s last night and it's going to again tonight. Uh, the sun is out and I'm moving so I'm staying warm. Well, looky what I found on the trail. Three quarters of the way done. I can't believe it. This is amazing. Let's get the 25% done people. We got some alpacas to see today. Hey there. I am out of the woods, uh, headed, I walked through some beautiful farmer's fields, and I can really hear the interstate, I guess I go under Route 81, and that phenomenon I talked about <laughs> when hikers hear traffic, and you would think it would be like, ew, traffic, but when I know I'm getting off to go somewhere into town or to a hostel, I love to hear that traffic. So in an interstate, you can imagine, I've heard it for quite some time now, probably a mile plus back. So that has been my little motivator for this last mile. I think I have like 0.3 or so left. That's another phenomenon out here. I've gotten pretty good at judging distance when I know, say I check and it says, oh, you have one mile to the shelter. I'll know roughly you know, I'll go and go and go, and it seems like forever, of course. And I said, oh, I'm going to check again to make sure I didn't miss the turn or whatever, because sometimes there's no signs going southbound for the shelters. And inevitably, it's 0.3. I have, like, the best judgment. I go, I think it's about 0.3. Sure enough, it's always 0.3. Which, by the way, that last 0.3 of every mile of the day, the longest 0.3 you can possibly imagine. <laughs> we are here at the Long Neck Lair Alpaca Farm and Hostel. It's on a busy road. Oh boy, those guys got their fancy alpaca haircuts. 
Hello, alpacas. Hi. I'm going to go get some snacks after I'm checked in and come back and feed you, okay? Okay. I'm on my way to take a shower. Checking out the alpacas right up by the bunkhouse. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello there, Mr.